All right. <clears throat> good morning, good morning, everybody. This is the TRCMA Day 2 pre-show. We're going to get it going this morning, get the hype going. Whew. It's going to be a fun day today. Welcome to the show. Let's get everybody in here. Let's go ahead and knock out the sponsor read of the day, Detailer Supply Co., your home of Lex Labels. They got labels for the IK Multis, labels for the bigger sprayers, bucket labels, all kind of nice vinyls to get your IKs all labeled up. It's promo JTC10, 10% off. Go check it out, the official new home of the Lex Labels. And speaking of Lex, he should be joining us uh, sometime shortly, along with our other uh, live correspondents at the event this morning. Let's go ahead and break down the schedule for today. <clears throat> We've got Oberk Supreme Car Care from 10 a.m. to 10.30 to start off the show. We got detail wise, that'll be Jason Otterness and, and company from uh, Chicago Auto Pros from 10.30 to 11. We got Dry Ice Energy with a live ice blasting. That ought to be fun and satisfying. Polymer Technologies from 11.30 to 12. We have our friend Lex from Viper. He'll be on the TRC. Uh, there were today from 2 to 2.15. Are they in your chest pocket? We got Detail Factory from 2.30 to 3. That'll be presented by Levi and Anthony from the Rag Company because Detail Factory couldn't make it. And we got G-Technic from 3 to 4. And here we got Nick Pete going on into the event. How's it going, Jamie? How's it going, Mr. Dewar? Got uh, Justin building a Viper chair here, hard at work. Live Viper chair build. This is the kind of content I was looking for from you guys. See if we can get him in here and get a good shot at this chair. What's How's up? it going, Justin? I'm doing Alex's job for him. Yep. We put you to work right <laughs> off the bat this morning, huh? It's pretty much what we do here. Right? Show up, get a job. Get to work. Yep. What kind of chair are you building? Um, so just pieces of the, uh, the rag company got new backs for their Vipers. I don't know if you can see it. Rag uh, company blue? Oh, yeah, yeah, rag company blue. There's nothing like the rag company blue. It's a real nice blue. So, Who do we got there? Mr. Dewar. <laughs> yeah, Brittany in the podcast. Brittany. Yeah, got Brittany. Oh, Greg's favorite. That's a that's a very old old piece of cardboard, I would assume. Yeah, it looks like when she's like twenty. Yeah, that's prime time, Brittany. <laughs> <laughs> prime time, Brittany. Prime time, Brittany. She just left Louisiana. Yeah. Yep. Are you having audio issues, chat? What's going on? Let me know. Also, Jamie, I'm going to do a little plug here. Yes. Um, the Red Company is selling some coins that they've been talking about. Yep. So just a teaser, this is the G-Technic coin. So five coins, one coin per day of the week, and all proceeds are going to charity, 10 bucks a coin. So be sure to pick those up. And very there. TRCMA 2022. What's up, brother? It's going to be uh, legit. There's, there's a Jason here. Jason from Chicago Auto Pros. Jason, there he is. Thanks, brother. Appreciate hi, Haley. You. My girlfriend just joined. Haley, say hi, everyone. Hi, Hello, Haley. Haley. Oh, join in the chat? Yeah, okay. I see you. Where's, uh, have y'all seen Lex from Viper anyway? He's here. He's uh, in the, our live busy meeting man. out there. Our live pre-show. <laughs> busy, busy man. We got Jason from Chicago Auto Pros. How you doing, Jason? <laughs> and we have Kira, the mic master. Mic master. We need them. 
And then we got the infamous Lex. There he is. What's going on, guys? We're going to put together some viper chair. I know. We got, got the bearded legend. <laughs> How's it going, everybody? Good. How are you? Good, good. Good. Lots of activity today, this morning at the TRCMA headquarters. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot going on this morning. Uh, do you guys find the tools you need? Or we don't. I gotta well, go over there. Now. Okay, but I don't. Yeah, I mean, we need some. Dry, dry ice is here. They're gonna be uh, cleaning some seats Kim. today. Some seats? Yeah. So, well, always a satisfying. Equivalent to a ten. The dry. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Very interesting uh, procedure they got going on with dry ice these days. Well, they. Uh, because we were here till about 5.30 last night, and the dry ice showed up at about quarter after 5, 5.20. Mm -hmm. So the uh, guy from dry ice, I think he came in from Germany, and he was kind of stressing out. Because if there's no dry ice, it's kind of boring yeah. to show a machine that's not working. <laughs> End of the show right there. Yeah. Uh, I saw Lex got pretty late last night. I think, Justin, you were uh, on chauffeur duties. Uh, you know, I told him around 10.30, I'm like, hey, I'm going to bed. <laughs> it was a long day yesterday. I think we're all pretty bad. I think we all went to bed or went to we were back at the hotel at about eight thirty last night. So Yeah. It was an early, early night. I bet. And this is only day two as the week goes on. Yeah. We, uh, few of us went to dinner at this restaurant called Western Proper where <laughs> there was some uh some bowling alleys in the restaurant as well as some like arcade basketball things, so that was that was pretty interesting. Nice. Yes. Yeah. So, good night overall. Yep. So, I guess what are y'all looking forward to today? Got a jam-packed show from Anthony's teaser yesterday. It should be pretty darn good. <laughs> yeah, I think there's uh there's gonna be a lot of new items. Yeah. Coming out today. Uh, especially from you know G Tech. G Tech. So, um, Lex is going to be putting together a low pro where everybody can see how easy it is. Um, the new nice. chair that dropped last weekend. Um, and then yeah, I mean dry ice machine. I've never seen one in action, so that'll be pretty cool. Mm -hmm. What's yep. up, Sean? Oh, we have a special guest calling in. I think he's got. Maybe a drink to review for us. Let's see what's going on. Mr. Bergie. Oh, we got Mr. Bergie in the house. Just uh, morning. I never Not know. Not exactly Lucas sure where I am. Yeah. I'm in some concrete alleyway. Not really sure how the hell I got here. Yeah. But I'm here. I'm here. And this lovely morning, I got a cherry lime whipped Mountain Dew Energy. Whipped? Whipped. Not gonna lie, this stuff kind of looks like Hawaiian punch. Like, let's just take a moment to look at this here. It, yeah, it's a very, very deep red. I'm generally not a cherry guy. I think I'm gonna have to give this one a shot. Yeah, cherry's usually the bottom floor. Not bad. Yeah, like I said, not a cherry guy, but there ain't nothing wrong with that. I think I'm going to need the caffeine today for day two of TRCMA. So, the caffeine in this is definitely going to be a nice boost. Yeah. So, get the energy for sure. Ergie, what are you looking forward to today? Um, uh, on the way over here, learned a couple things that's releasing today. I think there's going to be some cool things coming. Don't want to give it away too much, but... Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, there's definitely going to be some fun things coming out today here. Um, definitely day you don't want to miss here. As Alex is showing there, the dry ice energy, that's going to be cool. I I love dry ice blasting. I've never gotten to see much with it because in my area it's like non-existent. Yeah. But definitely excited to see that. Yep, that'll definitely be a good part of the show. We got a little live show going on, guys. Say hello. <laughs> Hi there. Hello. We're just preparing for our presentation of the dry ice. So this is, what was your name, sorry again? I'm Gannot. Hi, sorry. Gannot from, from Dry Germany. Ice. 
We're just. And then we got Mike. Yeah, uh, Michael. Hi. Hello. I'm not, I'm not from Dry Eyes, I'm from Kalawak. Kalawak, Germany. And uh, I help my friend Gano. Yeah, <laughs> getting ready here. Exciting stuff. So we got Jason, and we got Jason with his juice. <laughs> with the juice. Let's get some energy out of it. Okay. And we got the Master of Shine himself. Master Shine. And then we got Rockstar Glenn. Glenn. Looking good, looking good. All right, we finally got Lex on. Lex, how's it going, brother? Good, man. Nothing like waiting for the last minute to get all the stuff together, right? Yeah, that's how, that's how the show works. Pretty yeah, cool. we got to put together <laughs> yep. a quick height and then some low pros and then a new fan. Oh, fan. We're going to go over every, pretty much everything we offer, basically, today. So the low pro just came out, huh? Yeah, it's honestly, it's it's slowly become my favorite chair now. It's yeah. It if I had to pick two, it would be the robust steel mats and then the low pro. Right. So uh, low pro has the detachable cushion you can use as a knee knee pad. Yep, yep. And then um, that's a really cool part. It's got a, a ton of storage space, which is cool. Like you can actually fit like your whole polishers and stuff down there too. And then um, yeah. we're starting to develop some attachments to it too. Mm -hmm. um, some like accessories to hold your tools. Um, some that I can't talk about. And then uh, we're even talking about putting a back on it. So a lot of nope. people are going for that one. That would be a creeper in style right there. Yeah. Come creeper. Yeah, exactly. Uh. Yeah, I was looking into buying a knee pad not too long ago. I think Autofiber has one, and I never pulled the trigger on it. But if it comes, you know, with a bottom half of a Viper chair, I think I'm interested in a knee pad slash creeper. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's it's nice. It's convenient to have. You know, it's one of those yeah. features that it wasn't like that. exactly necessary, but it's kind of cool to have. So yeah, I, at first, honestly, didn't think I'd use it, um, but I've been finding myself using it a lot more. It's just like if you have Swiss tracks and stuff like that, I'll, I'll, I'll sometimes get on my knees and stuff, and that stuff right. isn't fun. So, just yeah, when polish those lower rockers, it's great to just pop the seat off, take a yep. knee, get to it. Yeah, so that's going to be the cool part about the attachments, too, is because, like, when you have the sidekick, you have to, like, it bolts into the chair, whereas those just lift up. So, like, if you want to you can easily put on and take off the attachments um, within seconds, which is going to be a game changer. Yeah. Very nice chair over Viper chair. Just came out just like a day or two ago. Uh, Lex, I'm going to talk a little bit about the labels and the new home for the Lex labels, the Detailer Supply Co. What happened there? You kind of gave Matt the go-ahead, the keep them going keep the legacy of the lex labels going I yeah I, just, I mean everyone wanted them i just didn't have time to make them anymore so um, yeah. matt wanted to step in and continue it on and so that's made a lot of, works out pretty good yep matt from dabbler details you got your lex labels uh at detailer supply co promo jtc10 save you 10 percent off mm -hmm. i'm gonna give you the red yep. Oh, oh, I forgot. I, I was looking for the chair for the seat. Oh, it's still up there. Yeah. You, shouldn't that, you shouldn't put that back on yet. What do you mean? Why? To make it look a little different. Wait, what? You mean like for the show? Yeah. Why do I have a black screen? Oh, it's Bergie. Sorry, Sorry. Justin's talking to each other. Yeah. Give, give me a second here. I'm trying to find Mama Hen in here to see if I can get... Mama Hemmen on the live stream real quick. You know trying to you. find her here. All right. Good luck. Just up there, Amy. Uh, Lex, okay. I was perusing the YouTube channel. Are they, are they shooting anything yet? No, they haven't. I want to get a no. picture. I'm going to go do something. Uh, the the MA. The quick has gone early. Yeah, I want to just. Can I take a picture of you guys? You got time for a sec? What? You got time for a picture real quick? Yeah, you got time for a picture. Let me just put these all together. Let me just see that. Lex is uh, Lex is super busy this morning. Yeah. Like went to last. Yeah. Week, so. We had to stop and get breakfast. Oh, oh yeah, we had to stop and get some breakfast. biscuits um, and gravy before we could do anything else. <laughs> Got to get carved up. Yeah, biscuits and gravy. I don't get that very often. Yeah. So. 
this is actually really quick and really easy if you don't have the backrest. That's why it's so funny. Like, we never anticipate it being a problem because if you the backrest is what makes it like what is that noise. Entire, if you just have the back, it's just like like literally it's screaming. Needs oil. Move her up. <laughs> hmm. How super smooth it is rolling across the TRCMA floor. Alright, here we got here the one and only Carolyn. Hello, good morning, everybody. Hi, hope you're having a good time. We are. It's so <laughs> Glad to be a part of it with the pre show. Glad to have you on. We're so thankful to have everyone here. We're having a fantastic time. I bet. <laughs> all right, well, we'll let you all go here, but thank you for popping in and saying hello. Yes. Bye -bye. <laughs> all right, I'll catch you all later on. All right, Bergie. We'll see you later. And then there was two. And then there was two. Busy, busy morning here at uh, TRCMA. Justin helping us out. Giving us a sneak. Jason. No, no. I just got on camera. Well, she's trying to be real fancy. Hey, Jason. Yeah. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason. Hey, Jason. Can you hear me? Yep. What kind of car is that? What we got going on in the wash bay? That would be um, the Jag, Jeff's Jag. Jeff's Jag. Yep. Mr. Hennon. What are we uh, doing with the car today, you know? I'm going to guess it's going to be something with G-Tag. Uh, makes sense. That's, that's my guess. But maybe not. I don't know. Yep. Maybe it's just sitting here. <laughs> Maybe that's just where it parks in the wash bay. We're going to be doing some uh, dry ice work on the Jeep and the seats. Yeah, I, just really, I just really love these. Yep. What is uh sidekicks? Yep, got right. the sidekick on it. Yep. Do you have one of those yet? Um, I do not, and honestly, I probably won't have one. So I've learned a lot from you, Anthony. If you yes. have your way. Photo shoot. Photo shoot time, yeah. So when you see it, there it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I hope you guys liked all that. So nice uh, poses. And oh, it was a great, all great kind of fun stuff. Oh, all kind of job, of. you know. Okay. Maybe Alex will jump back on with you. Are you going? going? Uh, Alex Dewar, all the way down to the right. I've got to go get tools to put this stuff together. Nope, still working on the chairs, yep. Yeah, we couldn't find the right tools we needed, and Lex didn't bring them. <laughs> Any fridge, full of products. Earlier. What's up? 
We are sure have activities over at TRCMA. Very big. Yes, Alex, so he's, he's getting back on live. Right now. <laughs> that didn't sound like but he, he said it. He screamed it. He's like, I'm getting back on live now. I heard him. He's, he's working on it. Got to set up his. Got to set up the tripod. Canadian. Uh, Got to put a tower up next to it. Are you live right now? I'm live hey. right now. Who are you live it's with? Everybody. Just you? Hold on a second. Here we go. There we go. Ah. Hey. How's it going? How's it going? Good. I can't hear you. He can't hear oh, you. Oh, like you. Great. Let's let Alex back in. Okay. Okay, so he can hear you now. Oh, okay. Yeah, I can hear oh, you now. Up? How's it going? How's it going? Hey, I just installed some new cabinets in my garage. Husky, yep, got the husky cabinets. Did you go pro or just basic? Uh, I, whatever those ones are. I think they're yeah, just, these the, are just the ones, the uh, basic model. They're pretty yeah, good. I yeah, I don't get paid enough for the pro. Yeah. yeah. There's no need for the pro. I don't have the pro. This isn't, this isn't even mine. It's a work, <laughs> it's a work camera. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. All right, I'm going to get set up. Okay, you got to get to work. All right, see you guys. <laughs> he actually works here. Is that the dry ice machine going crazy? Yeah, that's what that is. Yeah. They're getting it ready, all prepped up for today. Big, big show. We're going to walk across the street, too, if you want. Go to Brad Garage has joined. Oh! My goodness, the ice yes! machine. Yeah, that 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 thing is uh, a beast. Yeah. Good morning, Rick. It is a crazy, crazy morning at TRCMA. Everybody's very busy. Got to talk to That's all right, busy man. Oh, yeah. 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 Just walking around the parking lot. We got the, the tundra here. Got the tundra. You uh wash that with uh the coach rent the uh, wireless, right? I did. How's that? I think it works good. Works good. Wireless. What's his name? George. Lupez. Yep. Chaos at TRCMA day two. What's up, Ozzy Rooster, what's going on, fella? Alex, uh, Rick wants to know what shirt are you rocking today in the celebration day? Well, I only have one Rick shirt, so I can't rock another one. Oh, but man. Today, clutch back across your feet. Okay. Clutch shift gas repeat. So it's the uh, Volkswagen family. So Rick shouldn't be too disappointed. But also rocking PNS PNS double black hoodie. Very uh, nice. No, no piskies. They don't have your shirt. You didn't bother sending me one. So sorry. Keep <laughs> boy. Right. Yeah, dry ice guys are going full force. Dane, how's it going, fella? We'll have a quick conversation with the Master of Shine. Yeah, bring him on. We need What's a blue up, carpet. guys? Levi, what are you most excited about today? Uh, well, uh, there's a lot today. As you can hear all the noise going on, today's probably going to be the one of the heaviest days 
next to Thursday. Really, well, really Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday are yeah. all really heavy days. So we've got a lot of folks in. It's probably the most amount of different uh, diversity in the group. So yesterday we had a lot of folks, but today's even bigger. So it's going to be pretty nuts. So got to stay tuned for it. What do you think of the show, Jamie? I thought it was a big hit. I asked Anthony yesterday, was this going to be, was Monday going to be the bigger part of the week? And he said, no, it's just going to get bigger. Every yeah. Sunday going into the end of the week. So uh, if it gets bigger than yesterday, it's going to be a good show today. Yeah. I think it'll be a lot more fun today just because of the diversity. Uh, one of the fun ones that I just saw pop on is we got Dr. G. Doctor going to be beamed in. So we're going to talk, I'm going to talk to him and ask him all the questions and all that stuff. So this yeah. should be Oh, yeah. Gabe's throwing his shoes at me so he can get his, his proper TRC uh, edition Brooks on. Let's get a tie yeah. walking around in his ASICs. This is, a Bro this is Brooks, and this is uh, Mr. Luke Berge, who got these dialed in for me. So, nice. What uh, Brooks? Give credit where credit is due. What Brooks are they rocking? Uh, TRC Yes, Jimmy. They got their new wall. Can anybody hear me? <laughs> I can hear you, Jamie. What Brooks were those? Uh, I think those are the Ghost 14s. Ghost 14s. I believe so. Yep. Yep, got the new packaging, Rag Company packaging. I like it. like it a lot. The new Ram 1500 towel. Yes, that's a monster towel. I, I don't have one yet, but I uh, nope. P. Davis has Luke been sanctioned by human resources yet. I think he's been written up a few times by now. Back to the Viper Scare Bill. Still going down. So yeah, it should be a good day. Yes, very good day today. Big, big day. Yeah. Four companies to start off the morning, so big, busy morning for sure. So yeah, Jamie, just recap who we've got in the morning here. In the morning, we got Obert from 10 to 10.30, Obert Supreme Car Care. And then 10.30 to 11, we got Detail Wise. That'll be Jason Otterness and crew. From 11 to 11.30, we got Dry Ice Energy. And then 11.30 to 12, Dr. G from Optimum, Optimum Polymer Technology. We'll be phoning in. It's gonna be a busy, busy morning. Nate, I think the Viper race is gonna be off camera. <laughs> That's a live one. We're gonna come out with the other chair race and some other accessories like some poultry tools. The Viper construction is ongoing. It continues. If I understood right, we're going to have a live bike chair field during segment 2 to 2.30 or so. Yep. Low Pro, brand new to the bike chairs lineup. Tremendous looking uh, creeper. Well, Jamie, I think we might hop off to continue building some stuff. we got a bit of work to do this morning, so. All right. I'll have to find yep. you again. Then. That sounds good, though. All right. Yeah, I appreciate you. Uh, Running these lives, that's awesome. Yeah. So. Just a busy morning at TRCMA. We try and bring as much live action as we can. But, Alex, we'll see you around for the post show. Yep, yep. we'll catch yep. you later. Yep, see you later. See ya. Uh, Rick, would you like to rejoin the show as an impromptu guest since you are around? Cause I need someone to talk to because the show just me. It's boring. There he is. I'm, I'm not going to lie. I'm in my pajamas. <laughs> I almost <laughs> feared that. I was like, well, he, he's probably not ready. I'm just on my uh, computer in the office following everything. Day two, exciting. Very exciting day. Uh, I'm excited for Dr. G from Optimum Polymer for sure. Uh, yeah, you know, yeah I'm excited. Much uh, optimum no rinse, but it just never gets old hearing someone talk about it, and uh, maybe maybe they'll have some uh, new stuff coming out. You never know. I think it it is time for a few of their products to get reworked a little bit. Maybe the wax, uh, but uh, O and R just timeless, uh, true miracle product in the detailing realm. 
Yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's one of those, it's a, I think the word is synecdoche, when your brand becomes like the, the name for the, for the category, like Kleenex is the right. name of a brand, but like, when people talk about a no rinse, they, they call it an ONR, and it, it, you might not be using an optimum product for your no rinse, but it's become synonymous, right? Right, like. O and R is just the goat. I say that on all my TikTok comments. People ask, "What's O and R?" It's the goat. Yeah, exactly. Yep. Yeah. If that you don't have a gallon like, of that in your garage, you're uh, you're missing out. That's for sure. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it can replace so many, uh, you know, uh, products: glass cleaner, uh, waterless wash, detailer. Yeah. Yeah. It's so versatile. Yeah. Hey, let me ask you, Jamie. I'm I'm on my inter I'm, I'm going to spend some money today because yesterday I got all excited talking to you guys. Oh yeah. What, what, why are Brooks all of a sudden the, the shoe of, of the event? What's going on there? I think Brooks have become the ultimate like dad shoe. I think okay. They are well, I'm the ultimate dad, so that's perfect. Same here, same here. So yeah. I think the dad life corresponds into the detailer life. Brooks yeah. is the ultimate shoe for the detailer. So I was looking online. I'm looking at a Brooks Ghost 13 GTX road running shoe right now. Yep, I think that's the the goat of the Brooks shoes. From what well, I've the understood. red go the the red goes very good with my color scheme. Yep, red yep, and that, gray. But I think I'm gonna add those. Way to go. Yeah, I'm gonna add those to my cart right now. And Not I'm sure very. Ex which go ahead. One I, I got I got two pairs of it was, Brooks. It's a good sale on the Canada Brooks website. Platinum, right. you gotta rock the Crocs too. No, I don't rock Crocs. <laughs> <laughs> I've oh, never really? wore a Croc. I've never put a Croc on my foot. You're missing out. The, my old Crocs, you know, like yeah. I said yesterday, switch tracks. They almost killed me once per detail from uh, hitting a slick spot. I kind of go flying across the floor, but gotta rock the Crocs. And uh, <laughs> but now I'm going to the Brooks to have more grip. Okay, yeah. Well, I'll, I'm going to go straight to the Brooks and skip the Crocs, if that's all right. I, hey, I that. Some of my favorite shoes when I'm in the garage are um, Hey Dudes. I really like those just for the – they're so I've easy heard, to wear. I've heard a lot of good things about them. Yeah, they. The, I find they wear out quite quickly, though. They're not a very robust shoe, you know. Maybe, maybe Viper Chair could make a line of shoes that would be indestructible. Right. Mm -hmm. Yep, indestructible shoes. Maybe they'll have uh, some casters on them, and then we don't have to walk. <laughs> yeah, them. Exactly. We just kind of pull around in comfort. Yeah, I'm just checking the comments here. Uh, Got to try the on running shoes, boys. On running shoes. That's Minister of Fresh. Hmm. I'll Google uh, it. Huh. Tell us he, more. He, yeah, tell us more, Minister. Oh, yeah, some oh, Swiss oh, performance oh, running shoes. Oh, okay. On some uh, waterproof shoes. I forget what those were called, though. Those might. Oh, be I nice. know these shoes. I know this brand. My son was really into parkour, and that these are these shoes were always for sale at the parkour place we went. Parkour. Got to have a lot of grip with parkour, so they must be pretty grippy. Oh yeah, those are cool too. All right. Well, what else? We got it's anybody time for else? me to get. To yeah, chime in. What kind of shoe recommendations are we dealing with here? TRCMA, Obert, detail wise, Optimum, Viper, Detail Factory, G Technic. A lot of fun today. Mm hmm. I got too much iron on my feet to want indestructible. Oh. <laughs> All right, Brandon's here too. Hey, Brandon. Big Red's detailing. Says he Gordon's. Jordans, yeah, I could definitely do that. My kid's into Jordans, big time. Oh, yeah, yeah I like these on-running shoes, man. They're really cool. 200 bucks. I wish I had a laptop so I could pull them up as well. Once my phone is busy, that's out for me. Uh, I like this one. I'm going to show uh, – let me just reverse – oh, I can't remember. I like this one. Can you see that? Go down. There you go, right there. I like that one. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I might buy a couple of pairs of shoes today. Detail Firm, what's up? Glad to have you here. For sure. Love your products, Brandon. Love them. I've not got around to trying them yet. So, Rick, how's the uh, oh. detail working out for you? 
treat yourself. That's what they look like. They look like just when you it's, it's time to treat yourself and really enjoy a wash, you buy and uh, break out the detail firm. Yeah, it's funny because on the uh, in the marketing, there's uh, there's images of a man in a tuxedo. Yeah. Detailing. Yeah. And, and yep. honestly, that, that I channel that image when I'm, when I'm working with the detail firm products because there is just a real luxury feel to them. Right. Oh, and uh, I have a discount code. I can't remember what it is. Hold on. Get everybody with the discount code. I have a discount code for a detail firm. I'll go to my link tree. Rick has so many discount codes. He has the page. He has to look up and scroll through and see which one to give out. Yeah, my discount codes have discount codes. Yeah. Detail firm, he thinks it's Rad Garage. No space. It could just be. Yeah, it could just be. He that. would know. Yes, Big Red chimes in. It is Rad Garage. No space. So that'll save you a little bit at the detail firm. 15%. 15%. Are they crazy? Giving Rick 15% They are crazy. Off. What a deal. So if you buy 100 what? products, you can get 115 products. <laughs> <laughs> yep. That's right. You get one product free. You know, my, I've got a 20% discount code for um, lithium, and they've got a lot of awesome products. Bill was very generous. Uh, yeah, 20% for lithium. Yeah, another but brand. Brandon, that's not... I'm surprised there are brands you haven't tried. Yeah, you, you, your channel has the brands I haven't tried. You're always doing Gion, uh, Detail Firm, recently, uh, what yeah. did we just say? Lithium. Lithium. NV. Uh, are you using Fireball? These are brands I haven't got into yet. Yeah, Fireball is starting to take off. They're starting to yes. get more of, a, more of a, what's the word, a footprint. Yeah. Bill is a good dude. Yeah, Bill is a great dude. We had him on a live stream a couple months ago, and it was just a great time connecting with Bill from Lithium. Yeah. Yep. Check it out. What's that show, Rick? Was that on your channel or Mike's channel? Well, it, it depends. Mostly it's on Mike's. So, uh, yeah, if you keep an eye on Mike's Auto Detail. Is that what it's called? Mike's Auto Detail? No. Yeah, I think this was called. Mike's Auto um, Detail. Yeah, I'd say three quarters of the live streams we do are hosted on his channel, but uh, I've gotten a very, I've got an excellent, you asked me yesterday if I had any plugs and I, I had a blank, but yeah, April 16th yeah, uh, on my channel, we'll be connecting with the director of success from Dr. Beasley's. His name's nice. Ryan. Yeah. So Ryan's coming live with us to talk about Dr. Beasley's, which I'll be honest is a brand that I've known of for a while, but I've never really had a true experience using their products. Yeah. Another brand that just eluded me for some reason. Yeah. I have a feeling they're one of those brands that I've avoided subconsciously because I know how good they are mm -hmm. and it'll, it'll challenge a lot of the stuff I already enjoy using, which is a good thing, but also, you know, I don't want the things I'm currently using to become redundant. So, but uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, that'll be a very interesting conversation because they have like primer polishes with SiO2 in them where you just coat right over them, you know, without an IPA wipe. So stuff like that is what they're doing. They're really innovating, I think. Yeah, and I've not innovated my process ever. No. I basically... <laughs> compound polish wipe everything raw and then coat yep. so to do things I, I used uno protect one time i like um, it. yeah i liked it too but uh, for the most part i do it very conventionally yeah for a while i was uno protecting just all the cars but uh about a year ago it switched and now everybody just wants coatings i haven't done a uno protect job in quite a while yeah i i enjoyed i removed it with bead maker that was yes. fun yes isn't that wipe off just smooth just like yeah like uno protect just evaporates once the bead maker touches it you know we had an opportunity a while ago to connect with rennie doyle on one of our live stream broadcasts yeah and uh, i have to go back and watch it because there was so much information happening but 
he yeah he had a couple tips because people were talking about uh bead maker i think i might have this wrong but some people experience like a magnetic mm -hmm. where yeah, uh, it attracts dust yes that's and he, uh, the main complaint with bead maker i never kind of i never had problems with bead maker but uh maybe more dusty states or something they seem to have a, a dust problem yeah some people freaking problem i've never had either i think it's pretty perfect product but uh seems to be the case yeah he said you could there was a pro tip he gave and i think it was using a different it might have been showroom shine paint gloss bns paint gloss. Yeah, paint gloss that's Built right attic you can use paint gloss on carpets to loosen up fibers and stuff kind of releases stuff and then uh on top of bead maker it's supposed to lay down that anti-static layer that's right which also i think dream maker now has the anti-static layer and i've just been mixing dream maker a couple ounces into my bead maker and we call it the clean maker around here <laughs> <laughs> having some tremendous results with that well there's a good pro tip i better write that one down so you mixed in the new dream maker with bead maker i mix a couple ounces in there with a uh, with the bead maker, yep, uh, ten to one ratio, pretty much. Oh, ten to one, okay. Yes. With, with the one being the Dream Maker. One being Dream Maker, because I found Dream Maker. Sometimes you have to over wipe it. I found, especially on top of a coating, seems like yeah, you, you don't want to be over wiping, you know, especially after you just lay down a fresh coating. Yeah. And, but so then I started spraying bead maker on the panel, and then one spray of Dream Maker in the middle, and then proceeding, and it, the problem went away but the results were still there from the dream maker so then i just started mixing it the 10 to 1 ratio and getting the same results as i was having so it kind of slowly progressed into mixing it and i've had the same results throughout so i think it's the way to go there you go that's why they call you jamie the cleaner hey can um, i shift can i shift gears real quick go ahead what you, I, got? I, you know i'm in love with viper chairs right oh yeah so I'm on their site. I'm at the shop all chairs. I have the robust steel max, which I love, but I, I find uh, when I'm working low, I need something smaller. So I got my eye on the low pro low pro. It looks legit. It does look okay. legit. I get, I need one with a back. I have the, yeah. What is it? Steel pro or something, the red and black one. And it's nice, but I definitely need a back, but yeah, you know, my, yeah, it's nice to have the back and it's, you know, we were talking about this yesterday when I think Anthony came on, like, I kind of wish I had the quick height adjustment one. Right. Because yeah. spinning my chair around for three minutes to get it up and then 10 minutes later, I need it down low. So I'm, I'm thinking I'll keep my uh, robust keep steel max high mm -hmm. and just go ahead and get a low pro, but I want to get the low pro to match the 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 current chair i have so i'll have to get a custom cushion yeah. embroidery talk supplies coming to canada next week we will have to hook you up look at there getting you some deals rick live on the pre-show that's my friend owen owen just uh owen's been doing an amazing job of uh building his business toc supplies.ca yeah that's a newer company huh right? and guess what I have a discount code for TOC supplies oh. .ca. Hit them with And the I don't know I don't know what it is, but I know it's a ten percent discount. Oh. Let, let let me check the, the page. Yep, okay, get the scrolling. Oh. Rad garage, no space. Ten percent. <laughs> Rick, you gotta just make the codes all the same. Yeah, then maybe well, I, I never knew I would they would evolve to more than one code. Definitely yeah. a shameless plug. Yeah. So one thing that. that makes me uh, very happy about TOC supplies and partnering with them is they stock the pressure washer I have, which um, it's the AR630 TSS. Yes. It's becoming much, much more popular in Canada now because we have a distributor here in the country. Mm -hmm. um, it was very difficult to justify the cost of buying it stateside and having it imported. Uh, the fees would just add up to the point yeah. where it just wasn't worth it. So now that uh, AR North America and TOC Supplies have got this relationship, mm -hmm. um, I'm 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 getting 
uh, more and more people refer to them and they're they're saying they're purchasing it so well, that's great because uh, that's a you, wonderful machine what are you running at the moment what do you mean what am i fresh washer oh that's the one i have i have oh. the yeah it, okay. it the, the thing about that 630 tss is it draws 20 amp, yeah you need a 20 amp plug uh, outlet and most homes here come with 15 amp outlet standard especially so um, there is a, there is another model, and I don't know the name of it off the off the top of my my head, but it's it's almost as good as the 630, but it only draws 15 amps. So I'm sure right. Owen could drop the name of that one. And I don't know if TOC supplies is. Let me check. But anyway, TOC supplies 10% Rad Garage. Yep, and they've got Viper chairs 10% off a of Viper chair. For all Canadians. Well, I, you know, I think mostly it does cater to Americans, uh, sorry, Canadians. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it probably makes more sense if you're in the States just to get it there. Yeah. Oh yeah, the 675. Good. Yeah. Yeah, the 675 is a good um, for the weekend warrior, but also, you know, you do the occasional big job. I think that would be a perfect pressure washer. Yep. All right, Rick, well, let's reel it back in and get back to what's actually happening at TRCMA. I think, uh, have you used uh, too much, too many uh, Oberk Supreme Car Care products? You know, we had them on a live stream and they sent me a couple of products, but I just haven't uh, had occasion yet. I don't have enough cars in the winter to try things out on in my car. Boy, it's, it's got so much stuff on it. <laughs> I don't even know where to start, but no. Uh, so the short answer is no, I have not tried Oberk yet. I just got the defense gel and the wheel cleaner, but I also, I just got it last week and I'm not back to detailing yet, so I haven't tried them either, but I'm looking forward to it. The defense gel seems like a really interesting product, uh, kind of in between the sealant and the coating. So I think it's going to be great for people who uh, are interested in the coatings, but don't want yeah. to commit to the, so I think I'm going to have to find maybe a price for in the middle there to kind of give a tryout coating as you will. With the yeah, gear. that's exactly, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it gives you more options. Yeah. Then we talked about optimum detail-wise, dry ice. Have you seen oh. drop, too many dry ice things or got anything dry iced? Or? I have never, but I'm, a, I'm absolutely obsessed. I have a very good friend who, um, he's down in Texas, and he started up, his name's uh, Sub-Zero Detail. Mm -hmm. And... I just get mesmerized watching that dry ice. Like it's, it's not even fair to yeah, us, you know, sense. got my yeah. little, it, it just, it's absolutely incredible. Um, yeah, there's sublime surfacing in uh, Alberta here. They've been on Instagram. I've been following them for a long time. Uh, dry ice just fascinates me. But the thing about it is, um, where does all that dirt go? Right. It ends up in your garage right. somewhere. Somewhere. And oh, uh, yeah. Gotta go I know guys like there's beautiful pictures and everything, but I, you know, speaking with my friend, sub zero detail, uh, it, it's a big challenge is what do you do with the dirt? How do you, how do you manage it from just spreading everywhere? Yeah. I saw, you know, uh, obsessed garage, I think came out with one you can buy. It's like $10,000 though or something. Yeah. I saw that one. Yeah. Like, man, uh, you know, people are going to buy, it. they're not going to keep it up, PBE up or nothing. They're just going to go to blast and, that stuff's kind of everywhere. Yeah, why is it all over my walls? Yeah, ten grand. I think I'll wait. I'll wait for the price to come down a little bit. But man, it would be nice to. Uh, it was expensive though. Yeah, yeah, it is expensive, and it takes a lot of time. And then you have to order the dry ice and get it there. You know, pretty immediately get to using it. Seems like a what a procedure to set up. Well, I'm just, I, I can't wait to see this presentation to see what, uh, you know, is it is it aimed at the hobbyist or is it aimed at the pro where that's like 95% of your business? I think they're just going to show off what they do. Yeah. I think rate awareness about the dry ice method, I guess, probably the what we're going for this uh, showcase. Yeah, so Jonathan late recently, he said he used something like, it was something ridiculous, like a thousand pounds of dry ice or something. I, I got to find the post. Yeah, it, it, we'll it was a big Detail. project. And then G-Technic, I think G-Technic's going to be uh, releasing some new products, which is very interesting. Either they're relabeling 
or they got brand new products. I'm not sure which one, maybe a little of both. Yeah, fascinating company. I've always been a huge fan of G-Technic. It just has such a, I don't know, such a sophistication to it. That's what I saw. They posted a teaser and it said ceramic sealant. And I'm like, please don't rename C2V3 ceramic sealant. Don't do that. <laughs> I don't like that at all. But we'll see. Hopefully not. Hopefully it's a new product. Separate. I, I, I don't want them to rebrand and, you know, I like all the names and stuff. You have to kind of learn them at first, but. Yeah, well, and you've got that full drawer of G Technic coatings. The last thing you want is for them to all become obsolete. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, I think I heard not too long ago we were getting the XO V5 sooner or later. So maybe they'll have that coming out uh, in today's showcase. I expect it to be pretty big. Some pretty big announcements coming for G Technic. It'll be 3 to 4 p.m. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. So is it, um, is it, they'll just probably have their North American reps there? I would imagine, but, uh, you know, there was the German guy yesterday. I don't know who they'll bring on. Yeah. Um, another right. shameless plug. We have a live stream coming up on May 4th. May the 4th be with you. We will be connecting with G Technique on our live stream. Mm -hmm. So check, Jamie, you might want to shoot me some questions during that live stream or even before. For sure. I'll come up with something send over to yeah. you yeah good morning mike mike has joined us from mike's auto detailing oh hello mike mike i had to i had to tell him i won't be able to make this weekend's live stream because i ended up getting tickets to uh saturday night's uh flames game Woo! they're on a roll they are on do you follow hockey down in louisiana no no, <laughs> no. i follow <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah. That would have been impressive. <laughs> yeah. Not Does that you're not impressive. Have, yeah. Does anybody have any last minute questions? We got about eight minutes left before the big show kicks off. <laughs> Yet the flakes again. <laughs> Yet uh, again, the flakes. Good to see William here. Will Pope. Oh, we Nate was on earlier, too. It's good to have the G on guys. Yep. Yes. Is Gion, Gion involved yeah. in the TRCMA at all? I don't believe so. I think they try and keep it with all the family of products, right. you know, mostly uh, in the store. But there's a few exceptions every now and then, like the dries. Yeah. Uh, Road FS. Yeah. No, but, it's uh, just... yeah. Nate's still here. Still, thanks for uh, tuning in, man. Uh, cool to see uh, you know these reps tuning in and companies hopping on the pre-show. Yes, it's amazing social media. It's just absolutely amazing how we can all stay connected and. Yes, fun time. That's why I wanted to put it together. You know, I knew we were gonna have some uh, friends over there, live, get some live shots, get the hype going. It's a fun time, and I made you oh, tune in, Rick. I'm gonna tune into the event, and now you're you're addicted. You got you got your cart ready, promo codes ready, I and mean, it's just fun. <clears throat> Y'all probably be in my pajamas all day watching all these presentations. Yep, I'm probably gonna miss a good chunk of the show. I got a, a baby doctor appointment for my newborn, which is why I had time to uh, put this all together. And you're I'm doing the. For... Are you doing the after show as well today? Yes, we'll do an after show, hopefully. If uh, they looked all all of my live uh, correspondents look exhausted, so we'll see. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I might have to phone in some friends. Maybe we'll just do a quick recap. We'll see how it goes. All right. Well, if you're very desperate, I'm here for you. You know it. I okay. hopped on today, so. <laughs> well, I got I a T-shirt on up top, but it's all it's all it's all casual down below. All right, yep. I'm gonna hop off. Uh, have a great day, Jamie. All right, I'll wrap it up here, and I'll see you later, Rick. See you, buddy. See ya. All right, people. Thanks for coming, tuning in to the pre-show. I have a two-week-old, so I will be taking him to his first checkup at the pediatrician, so I might miss half the show or so, but we'll be back with the post-show to recap it with our live correspondence. Hopefully, 
Lex will jump back on in the after show. Maybe uh, we can get Matt from Dabber Details talk about his labels, keeping the Lex labels alive and going strong over at detailersupplyco.com. Promo JTC10 will save you 10%. And that's it. Tune in to TRCMA in five more minutes over at the Rag Company's uh, YouTube channel. It's going to be a heck of a show. you got Obert detail-wise, dry ice, Dr. G's phoning in from Optimum. That's the morning show. Then you got Viper Chair, Detail Factory, and G-Technic with the afternoon show. And then we'll be back on 4 to 5 or 4-ish to till everybody gets tired of talking to me before the post show from uh, 4 to 5 maybe Mountain Standard Time. That's all I got. I'll catch you all later. Thanks for coming, everybody.